Hi everyone, I'm Tandy Gutierrez and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. Um, March comes in like a lion, right? And out like a lamb. So here we go. We're going to see what the energies have collectively for us. Um, it's a seven card spread like I normally do. I'll talk you through it. Um, March has an interesting energy to it. Um, it has a very much a call to action of being our true, deepest, unique selves. It comes with this fearlessness, so if you've done the monthly meditation, if not, go do it. Um, there's this gift coming about courageousness and fearlessness and bravery and really running in the world as your true self. So overall is a monthly energy. Let's see what it has for us. I like it. We're headed, you know, to spring, okay? So the spring, is it solstice or equinox? So on March 20th or 21st, okay? So we're almost out of winter. We're not quite there yet, but we are feeling those like up and coming energies already, which is cool. Um, you know, the end of February into you know, March, we've got Pisces season. So Pisces is super dreamy, super, um, super psychic, very empathetic, very feely feels, a lot of crying, <laughs> a lot of water. Um, so it may feel like hibernation time still. It may feel like it's just too many things and I just need to be with my feels and myself. So anytime, you know, Pisces season is one a big one of um, healing, there's that potential of healing there um, and also of messaging. So if you haven't done the guided meditation for March, you should because there's a lot of messaging to be had this month if we allow it, okay? So here we go. Um, I'm using the classic Rider Waite deck today. That seemed to be what was calling for the month of March, so here we go. Um, energy of the month, this is a beautiful one. Three is celebration, okay? So three of cups, this has actually come up quite a bit lately um, in the reading. So three of cups, so cups is about your energy, your emotions, about love, and love is the divine spirit, right? So it's also about your connection to the divine spirit. So three of cups is a call to celebration, a call to friendships, um, a call to, um, you know, family and family that are really gathering around you to celebrate who you are and your stories. This is always, you know, the, the tarot readings are collective for all of us who are here and present for them. Um, but this is the energy of the month that it's offering us is that it's a time of regrouping and it's a time of like, get this like hunkering down, like huddling together in a very loving, reflective way. So it doesn't have to be this ruckus party, but like a celebration of those you love and who love you. People who've known you for a really long time that go, right on, a little cheers for <laughs> knowing each other for 20 some years, you know? Like, um, it's a beautiful card just of celebration. Three is creativity. And in, these, in the decks, it tends to be a very feminine card also. I do believe that this month of March has a, a call to feminine energies, feminine friendships, and that doesn't specifically mean female, but the feminine, like rejoicing in the feminine energy. Feminine energy is intuitive, it's healing, it's um, nurturing and caregiving, and it's about celebrating all the wonderful, beautiful souls, right? Because if you look at the essence, I'm, I'm gonna head here, the essence of you know, female, okay, is that creatrix of creating, but also of, of, be, of mothering, right, of nurturing and caregiving and Mother Earth and that, that energy of we don't have to have children to be mothers, but we have to have creative endeavors in the world and really love them through the hard and the bad times. And that when we get down into it, the way to nurture best is like, is with love and with celebration and celebrating the small stuff because man, there will be big stuff that you can't celebrate, right? But also, <laughs> this is called, of like, if things get a little too wild and out of hand, snatch them up by their ear and let them know. Like, oh, the true best mothering is, you know, with love, but also to be able to snatch you up by your ear. But this is a call in this month that there's not that ear snatching up, right? It's not like, it's really the celebration of like, 
look how far you've come. Look how much you've grown. This is the reflective part of the Three of Cups of like, I remember when it was not so good. I remember when you were stumbling. Like, this is a call of celebrating through creativity. What are the things you have created in the world? Who have you created yourself to be in the world? And I do say, who have you created yourself to be, right? Because we're responsible for ourselves. So, you know, are you evolving in the way you want to? Are you showing up as the way you want to of who you want to be? Are you helping in the places that you want to? And if not, let's make a transition to that and it'll be celebrated by those who really love you because they'll get it. They'll be like, I'm so proud of you for taking this step or I'm so proud of you for having taken that step. Okay, so this bravery and courageousness and celebration, but in the essence of your true heart self, not of what people expect of you. Okay, so what to leave behind in this month? This is interesting because the meditation for March is very much based on the Ace of Wands. Okay, and you can go watch that. But so what it's asking us to leave behind in March is the Knight of Wands. Now, knights are a little surly, right? They're they're a little brazen. They're a little too ahead of themselves in all of the suits. Like, they're just like Knight of Swords is a little like win at all costs, doesn't matter who gets injured in the process, okay? And Knight of Wands is about your bravery and courageousness, right? Of like charging through. It's a very much a willpower card and it can be a quite positive thing, but it's telling us to leave that behind this month. Like, do not go charging ahead. Okay, like your bravery and courageousness needs to be internal right now. It needs to be self-centered, meaning that you're really looking at who you are and being brave and courageous in the things you say, the things you stand up for, and the things you do, and who you want to become and how you want to evolve. But don't go charging ahead with it right yet. It's still, I know we're getting a lot of like, go ahead, wait, go ahead, wait, go ahead, wait this year. Um, but there will be time for it. This is still a cultivation process in this month. Um, we're headed into spring. Don't worry, Aries season is gonna be here soon enough. And so in that like later part of March into April, like Aries is like, go, right? So for right now, leave behind the charging for, like don't get ahead of yourself, don't get impatient. Okay, I think that one was probably for me a little bit. But like, you know, don't don't worry. There's still time. You're still developing, okay? What to learn this month. And again, this calls to don't charge ahead. You have more to learn. So temperance, the temperance card, major arcana. It's about this connection to spirit, right? And being in flow at all times, being fed, you know, of and through continually from the ethers that you you are always in flow, right? That you are always um, receiving and can always be giving if you're hooked into the divine cosmos and to your divine path and into your heart-centered self, right? So I wanna, I wanna talk about being self-centered this month in the constructive way, in your heart, out of love. What are you impassioned to fight for? What are you willing to feel awkward for? What do you feel like is so important that you have to head towards it? So learning you know, temperance is balance, right? And it, at its mundane level, and we're in the mundane world, so we need to understand how to, how to cultivate balance for ourselves. As we transition into these new roles, how do we stabilize what we already have and what we're already doing? Because it's not about blowing anything up. There's, there's no tower cards in here, right? It's just about understanding that there's a balance of flow, there's a balance of this earthly doing and receiving, you know, in spirit, and that you're always connected. It's always about this 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 balance of it, like check in the earthly plane, gotta take care of your bills, gotta have, you know, a process forward and a giving and a helping and a doing, but then to be able to recline and rest and restore and receive energy and messaging and comfort and surrender and support and motivation through spirit. So learning balance and that you're always connected to the flow. Um, there's a little more there as far as earthing and grounding, which is really no surprise. It's a very springy card with the water and the flowers off to the side, you know, that I'm always a big advocate of water, but this one's really calling with that triangle facing upward to, to earthing you know, of like getting your feet in the dirt, getting feet in the water, getting reconnected to Mother Earth because spring is coming. You know, we've been in the dead cold of winter and haven't been able to do that much. And it's just important to help balance the energies of your physical body that way. What to receive? 
but I like this one, <laughs> okay? King of Pentacles, that's abundance, right? And so abundance is about, you know, financial, it's about health, it's about resources, it's about support, it's about love. Like, that's just pretty straightforward. This month just be open for, for abundance and for rewards and for outcomes, good outcomes. Meaning if you've been working on your health, you're going to have a little upswing and like clarity in that. It's kind of like the results stages of things. Um, King of Pentacles knows he's the banker. You know, he's taken years to accumulate resources and then he takes resources and reinvests them and kind of disperses them and grows more. He lends it to people like he shares, you know, and he donates. So think about where you can share, where you can donate, where you can give and allow those things to reap rewards back for you. In, in multiple forms. So that, you know, giving isn't always money, time, energy, um, you know, where, where can you help? So, but that's also about receiving that that's a clear call to you've been doing that. And now some of it's going to come back. Whoosh, right. That's cool. I like that. Um, assets to this month, six of pentacles. Again, you've got this giving, right? you know, like six is the number of love. Okay. So you've got more pentacles. Pentacles are what I consider the karma card. What you reap, you sow, what you give, you get. It's not a direct one for one. And some of it comes from past lifetimes of things that we have done or things that we haven't finished yet that we need to finish in this lifetime. So this is like this very overall, like the assets to this month are the giving and the generosity. And it's like, you know, they're holding the balance scales too. So it's like, you're giving in balance. This is not about martyrdom. This is not about doing things you can't do. This is about kind of this mastery idea that we've been playing with and talking about of that when you have mastery of something, anything, then you have the capacity to give from that mastery. Mastery is reached after 10 years of something, not prior to. So if you're like, think about the things that you've done for in that 10 year range. Nine, you're coming up close to it, right? Eight, you're almost there. 11, you're, you're still in that window and you've definitely accomplished mastery. So what are the things or the one thing that you've done for a consistent period of 10 years? So whatever you have cultivated mastery in, this is an asset to you. And then now you have the opportunity to share and to give in balance. And again, this King of Pentacles is saying, things that you're giving, you know, are gonna come back and that you're gonna receive some of these things that that's the interesting the assets of this month are really from before things that you have given and given and given and given and i know we all have one of those things we're like if i have to give something one more time if i just what where is where's the return even for those of us in good faith sometimes it's exhausting and tiring um there are assets in the giving they're going to be returned some of them this month there's going to be that show of of confidence and of keep going from the universe um obstacles of this month i find this fascinating too so this is this is a star card right it's usually 17 yeah it is in this deck in the original deck um the star card is is aquarius so the obstacles are kind of like you know from last month actually so what are the things that Okay, I'm gonna slow down. I get excited and then I need them to make sense. Okay, obstacles for this month are actually a flow over from last month because, you know, Aquarius season. So in the last new moon, because it was in Aquarius, what were the new things you want to be born, right? Like what are your, your intentions and your wishes and your new moon? In that new moon energy, there should have been some messaging, should have been, because new moon is the time of that heightened time of receiving messages. So the obstacles are gonna be is that you're gonna be caught up in this dreamy state of the messages that you received, but you're not gonna be in this, there's, okay. You're gonna be caught up in the dream state of it instead of in the, the planning and the anchoring and the earthing, right? Like you've got these temperance and the star. So it's funny because temperance to me typically calls to connecting to the ethers, divine spirit, cosmos, um, you know, God, higher self, angels, guardian angels, um, and guides. 
But in this reading, it's got a real clear earthy, like you need to get grounded. You need to be mundane because that flow is there. And the obstacle is showing that the flow could really set you off kilter and pull you into that delusion instead of the doing and the striving and the achieving and the manifesting. That had some clarity to it. So the messaging you got, you know, off of that new moon, or if you didn't get it in the new moon, it's coming in March because you need to do the guided meditation for March. But don't let the vision, the, the, the message keep you in delusion. You still have to be grounded in this life and to do. I mean, I'm gonna run that home for forever. This whole thing that like, you know, spiritual life is all airy fairy, that doesn't amount to anything. Yes, we want to be spiritual. We want to be connected to the divine ethers. But if you are not grounded in this reality, you cannot affect change and nothing comes to manifestation. So we've got to get grounded. That's a call to earthing. It's a call to getting on the mat, getting in your body, being very connected to your physical body. Because Pisces, we can just zip out of our bodies. Like, you know, and I say we because my moon's in Pisces, so I get it. I get so weepy and like just I want to hide under the covers. That's the time to go get on your mat. Go get grounded. Go, what is this earthly lifetime doing and how do I get anchored in here? Okay, so it's got an outcome here which I think is interesting for this month. Page of Swords. Okay, so Swords are your intellect, your acumen, and your thought processes. Page is about new thoughts, new ways of being. It's the youngest of the court cards. So it's fresh ideas. Um, this particular card in other decks is such this like, I'm thinking of one in particular, and I'll have to post it in the group if you guys will ask me and remind me it's a female you know with a sword with like butterflies on her and so it's about coming forward in your true voice and your true self but being kind of naive and like not skilled at it yet like you're just learning but you're like so again you have this like watch the march meditation do the march meditation this gift from the universe you may have already been receiving insight on it in february with that new moon you know, don't get caught up in delusion with it, but start getting it really anchored because this page of swords is really about speaking your true voice. Like, I have this new sword to work with. Swords are intellect, acumen, words, writing, thought processes. And it's new because I'm not skilled at it yet. But there's got this freshness of, of um, you know, childlike wonder and, and almost like a tween thing, but the, the, the good, energy of being a teenager or a tweener, right? Because they're they're eager to be older than they are. They're eager to take on responsibility and they may not seem like they want to learn, but man, they do. They're just kind of a little wily about it. So like the, the outcome of this month is that you come out with this fresh voice in things with new words that you're like, I don't really know where to put all of them or how to navigate them all, but I'm, but I'm going to and I'm going to learn how. So it comes out in this fearlessness, like your bravery and courageousness of March, not plowing forward, but finding a little bit of restraint, practicing balance and getting grounded this month. There's going to be rewards for the giving that you've been doing, right? And that there's celebration of people around you. It comes out and becomes at the end of this month, at the end of March, this new voice and this new person, which is great. It's almost a little bit like the fool. Like you're starting, at, you went up a level, but now you've got to learn mastery in this level. And it's all about your true voice and what you really want to say and what you really mean um, and where your head's at with things. I mean, you always want your heart to be a part of it, but this is very much about how you express it and how you show up in the world with it okay okay march there you have it i love you all very much um if you want to train with me on the mat and you're not a member yet you can use the promo code tarot t-a-r-o-t 1818 at check at the checkout at mattenkitchen.com and then you can try the site 
free for 30 days. Um, if you are not ready to train with me just yet, um, then you can book a private reading if you want to get insight into yourself or if you're already a member and it's just time to do a private reading. That's over at TandyGutierrez.com under private sessions. Just click on it. And then if none of those things are like what you're ready for yet, at TandyGutierrez.com, a little light box comes up and you can sign up for my newsletter and just stay connected to the things I'm doing, the monthly energies, the moons, the workouts, and the self-care tactics to help us balance through all of those. So I love you very much. Happy March. I will see you next time.